Hello everybody and welcome to my next uh, game development video. Now not much was done, f um, well not much progress was made from the video before. Um, I had to like rewrite the code, well rewrite some of the code um, because um, the way I was designing it, uh, I w it wasn't it could work but it wasn't it wasn't working with me efficiently and in order to make such a large game you need your code to be efficient and easy to work with so um the code was getting a bit messy too early getting a bit messy too quick and i don't believe the code should really be messy like that it should be pretty neat and pretty organized and every single class should have its own function uh, what I was doing with my previous um, code is that I wasn't us utilizing classes properly. I um I was using utilizing some classes properly, but I wasn't using other classes properly, and I wasn't it wasn't working efficiently. So, anyways, I have redone some of the code. Um, the menu system is still I've I it's still practically the same. I've just added um in more animations for the menu system. So now they're zooming in for the menu system. Uh, once you hover over certain menu items, like menu images, they actually animate and do something. So it just makes it a bit more interactive. Um, so instead of just talking about it, I'll just show it to you. Uh, so I've taken out the splash screen to actually um, focus on productivity of the actual menu system. Um, you guys might be wondering, you're saying, or oh, why? why am I spending so much time on menu systems and whatnot, right? Uh, but the reason is because I see a lot of videos on YouTube posting game development and the ideas are good for the game development it's just that the final product looked, it doesn't look polished it doesn't look like they actually put that much work into it for a game to be good it has to be presentable as well as good programming and good game mechanics. Um, a game, a programmer could be the best programmer in the world and have the most, the most amazing game mechanics in the world. But without the look and the feel, then nobody's really gonna. It's not gonna catch anybody's attention. So what I'm really trying to focus on is um, the game mechanics as well as the look and the feel of the game so that it will catch people's eyes instead of just good game mechanics and like the worst game functionality in the world so anyways uh, for the start menu it's obviously gonna look better than this but when right I got zooming um, in right here so you can do new game load game options whatever for zooming in if I click new game then you're created with you're greeted with like the cancer um, symbol what is it called whatever with the stars whatever astrology symbol or whatever astronomy or something so uh that's a cancer symbol since i'm born in since my sign is cancer i put it there so once you if you notice it when you hover over it, it animates and when you hover over this this is just a player creation icon uh then it animates so right here when the f when you click this you're going to be entering details like your name your age etc etc details that you need in the game and uh for this is just for when you click this you will be able to create your player so when you click this um nothing happens when you click this one uh it just keeps on animating when you click this one then you're greeted with the actual cr um player designing screen and I was only going to do basic design stuff like the hair, the shirt, pants, shoes. But I decided to add more stuff like the hair, the hat, hair add-ons, shirt, shoes, um, jackets, etc., etc. Just to make it feel like you're actually designing your own character. So once you, if you notice, when you hover over it, it still animates. It animates the hair and like a walking. How it will look when your character is actually walking, how your hair will move. And all this stuff so if you click here then it slides down and shows the complete hair collection now it's not gonna actually be shown like this um what it's gonna do is gonna show like the black it's gonna show this um hairstyle then this hairstyle and then this one i'm not gonna be showing all the color variations like this 
we're going to be having a next slide down menu along the slide uh, along the side that will be able to make you choose your color and when you choose a the color then the actual default color will change to that if that makes sense to you <clears throat> um so right here once you hover over the different options it zooms in and then when you select an option then it's selected right there now it looks really small I'm probably gonna make it stand out make it bigger to stand out but then if you don't like that option you can choose an X option choose it whatsoever etc etc so uh, that's basically it um, that's basically it for this section of the menus there's still a little bit of bugs like um, a little things that I can fix like once you select that you're working with hair then you can't even that when you select one you can't select another option after which is pretty is gonna be fairly easy to fix um and there's a little there's other things I have to do mainly I have to get all the graphics and stuff once I actually get all the graphics that I need for the game then it will be um finished uh but this is generally it for now uh so that's it for the menu system part two hopefully my next video when i post it then everything will be complete for the player design so i can actually post my website for you guys to try it out but for now this is all i have uh so thanks for watching this hope you enjoyed this and bye